Today we are going to see how a simple and easy explosion is done in Unity. I believe this is a great exercise slash video in case you are in a rush and need some quick and easy explosions for your game. So without further ado let's jump right into this. By the way this is all available on my Patreon's page where you can get many more assets for your game. Links below. So as you can see we are going to create this very simple and easy explosion with the particle system and then I'm going to show you how to do it with VFX Craft as well. So the first step is with right click create an empty game object, rename it to something like VFX underscore easy explosion and reset the transform. I'm going to push it a value of 2 on the Y so it doesn't touch the ground and then I'm going to add a particle system for the sparks. In here I'm going to turn off looping. I'm going to say the start lifetime is going to be small between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 and the speed between 2 and 20. It keeps on emitting particles. Because of the rate over time, let's set it to 0 and add a burst of between 15 and 25. If I turn on the gizmos, as you can see it has a cone shape. Not useful. Let's switch this to sphere instead and say the radius is 0 0.2. They are huge, so on the start size I'm going to say 0 0.05 and 0 0.4. And they are round. In case you like it, that's fine. But for this, I'm going to say the render mode on the render is stretched billboard. They are still round because the speed scale is at 0. Let's say it's 0 0.03. Right, so we need a material for this to be bright. Let's create one and call it particle underscore orange. And on the shader, I'm going to switch to Universal Render Pipeline, Particles, and Lit. If you want this to be bright, let's turn on Emission and say, I'm going to copy this color actually, paste it right here, and these are the values that I'm using. As you can see, we have the intensity, which is a feature of the HDR color. I also have a bloom on my scene, so they become bright. And if we add this to our sparks, as you can see, this material is a square. In case you like it, that's fine, but on my specific case, I'm going to say that the base map is going to be the default particle. If we test it again, it's still a square, a weird square, because the surface type is opaque. If we switch it to transparent, this will work out just fine. Oh, right, looking good. Now, another thing we can still do is the size over lifetime we want them to shrink throughout their lifetime and i'm going to use a curve similar to this one so we can get this effect really nice let's move on to the next element which is a flash so right click particle system call it flash no looping lifetime of 0 0.1 no start speed start size of 5 you can turn off shape and the emission, zero for the rate over time, but a burst of one, only one particle. And size over lifetime, from big to small. And then we can add the material we just created, so it becomes bright orange, and here we go, we have a really nice impact. If you select sparks and flash, you can see everything at once. Let's go for the fire and the smoke. Another particle system, let's call it fire. This one is also going to have a random lifetime between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 and a random start speed between 0 0.5 and 3 and start size between 0 0.5 and 1.5. Turn off looping as well and no rate over time but instead a burst of 10 particles. Again the shape in a sphere mode with a radius of 0 0.2 and then we can turn on size of our lifetime, so they go from big to small, but with this curve. And finally, assign the material, the orange one, which is bright, and here we go. We have those bright particles in the middle. Let's duplicate with Ctrl D the fire and call it smoke. The difference now is, first the origin layer is going to be below everything, minus one. And it's smoke, so we don't need orange in here. Let's duplicate this particle orange and call it particle dark and turn off emission. That's about it. Now let's assign it to the smoke and say the color is dark, black one. Yeah, if we test it out, as you can see, they are small, 
the smoke particle so let's do a few tweaks in here like for example they could live a little bit longer 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 move a little bit less between 0 0.5 and 2 and be bigger like 1.5 and 2 in relation to the fire particles if we test everything together here we go we have done our very easy explosion and super fast that's it if you are fine with the particle system that's about it what i'm gonna do now is show you how to create it with vfx graph so the process is the same right click to create an empty game object and then we can on a folder create a visual effect graph call it vfx graph underscore easy explosion in my case tutorial and drag and drop it to the empty make sure the y is zero press the edit button and here we go we are inside vfx graph now the process is the same in here we don't want to constantly spawn particles instead let's remove this and add a single burst and then a random number i'm searching this with spacebar between 15 and 25 make sure it isn't constant and the seed is per component and connect it to count let's already create a group select everything group selection rename this to sparks we could use a set velocity but i'm going to show you a nice trick where we use a set sphere a set position sphere and say the radius 0 0.1 and now we need velocity but I'm going to show you another trick where we use the set velocity from direction and speed spherical yeah I know long names long names but this one it's cool because we can say the speed mode is random between 5 and 19 for example lifetime short one 0 0.4 0 0.7 I'm actually using the same values that I used for the particle system version and down here we can assign the default particle for the main text we don't need materials in vfx graph which is cool and size of our lifetime the composition needs to be in multiply mode something like this for the curve that's fine we don't need a set color of a lifetime we can switch it with a set color and select the color similar to this as you can see in here we can already increase the intensity to something like three for example here we go looking nice they are a little bit reddish but that's fine before the multiply size of our life let's add a set size random between 0 0.1 and 1 and to make this stretch it they are round as you can see we can use a set scale random as well between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 for the x and 1 and 2 for the y they are stretched but they are not aligned with our velocity vector so on the orient block up in here we can say something like along velocity and here we go they follow their velocity vector let's rename this to sparks and with spacebar let's add a simple particle system i'm going to select everything and create a group selection this one is for the flash renamed up here and down here it's very important to rename the output particle quad because we are going to use it in a moment this one doesn't need to move and the lifetime can be constant between 0 0.1 something super bright super fast again no constant spawn rate but instead a burst a single burst of one particle down here we can assign the default particle and use a set size of 8 but the set size of our life again the composition needs to be in multiply you can remove the set color of a life and while holding control you can drag this set color from the sparks it will create a duplicate of the block of this block cool here we go a nice impact now let's go ahead and create the fire and the smoke again with spacebar simple particle system select everything and create a group selection for the fire rename it up here and down here the output particle quad and instead of a constant spawn rate we can use a single burst between 10 and 12 turn off constant connect to the count remove the set velocity and say the lifetime is between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 now again let's use the same trick we want to duplicate the set position arc sphere while holding control and the set velocity from direction while holding control and dragging to the fire here we go cool the velocity is way too high the speed in here so let's say it's between 0 0.5 and 2.5 all right and down here now we can use the default particle which is quite useful by the way and the set size of our life composition set to multiply and the curve from big to small but it will make this arc as you can see 
And before that, we can add a set size random between 1.25 and 2.25. Very specific values, you can play with these, obviously. Remove the set color of life. And again, while holding control, we are going to duplicate the set color from the flash, for example. While holding control, drag and drop, exactly. And here we go. That's pretty much it. Now for the smoke, we can copy with Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V, this fire particle system, rename it to smoke, up here and down here in the output particle cut, and say the color is totally black, as you can see. Let's increase the set size to 1.75 and 3, pretty much. It's going to live a while longer, between 0.4 and 0.6. It's going to move less, like 0.25 and 2. And as you can see, now it's rendering above everything. That's why it's important to rename the output particle quads, because now if we select the VFX graph in our project folder, on the output render order, we can say the smoke is rendered before everything. And here we go. Look at this. We have done a very easy and very simple explosion. I hope you have enjoyed this tour. It was a very quick one, I know. And if you want to learn much more about particle systems and visual effect graphs, then you must check out my channel. I have plenty of tutorials that will help you out. If you want to have access to these and to many visual effects, it's all available on my Patreon page, I left the link below. And I want to say thank you to each Patron that supported me last month. And as usual, a quick shout out to the top tier Patrons, which are Alex Peak, Alexander Brazy, Alvman, Ape on Fire, Aurora A, Aviato Bali, Bachkar, Bonehead, Cat Loaf, Cyber Cradle, Daniel Schmidt, Deep Anchor, Diaku, Diana Simonian, Diego Marx, Duitran, Effect Yellow, El Sharif, Easy, Fang Striker, Frosty Fort, George Mecklenburg, Giulio Benvenuti, Grub Lab, Guilherme Trindade, Jason Marrero, Jeff Rowe, Jose Salazar, Casey Miller, Lee Ann Holt, Letuli, Lucas Rocha, Matt Mahon, Mehmet Chakush, Mike Bell, Minazuk, Nikolai Yalnazov, Oitsk, Fanyurak Rapol, Phoenix, Pradip Sen, Radioactive Bullfrog, Randomizer Ross, Revenant Games, Ranks, R. Lee, Shikakaka, Travis McCallum, Verisuta, Riches Love, Whiplash, Will Hughes, Will Pud, Dong Mao Dong, Champion Ling, and Amon. Thank you all very much for your support, you guys are amazing and you keep this channel going. So I hope you have all enjoyed this very quick tutorial and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, bye.